dear lovely folk from St Edmunds, St Chad's and St P Fields. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation, the day when the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary to tell her she was going to have a baby. You'll note that the 25th of March is nine months before Christmas Day. I always think someone was having a laugh when they set that date. For me, the date has another significance. A year ago today, Chris and I came to the parish of Mansfield Woodhouse for me to be interviewed for the post of your vicar. The first port of call was St Edmund's Church of England School, where I did an assembly. It was so wonderful to join with the children in retelling the story of the angel and Mary, and then to teach them the African song, Mayenzi Wei Tando Yako, which means, Your will be done on earth, O Lord. Effectively, that was Mary's response when she agreed to become the God-bearer, the one who would give birth to our Saviour Jesus. Of course, it felt very poignant to be singing those words whilst on interview for a new role. I had a sense that God was calling me to do something new, but I also knew how painful it was going to be to leave all those I loved and still love in my group of parishes in North Yorkshire. The next event on the interview day was meeting people over lunch. I remember realising during those conversations that it wouldn't take long for me to grow to love the people of this parish as well. In the afternoon I had the formal interview. I'd been asked to prepare a presentation entitled How I Hope We Might Grow Together as Disciples Over the Next Five Years. I remember quoting a phrase from the book To Kill a Mockingbird. You never really understand a person until you climb inside of their skin and walk around in it. By which I meant it's hard to make plans until you've lived in a place for a while, started to get to know the people and begun to understand the culture of the community and the church. I'm still working on all of this. The changes brought about by coronavirus will in some ways slow it down. Although in other ways it may speed it up as we have this shared experience and as we all become more focused on what is most important in life. As we celebrate the Annunciation today, let's give thanks that Mary said yes to becoming the mother of Jesus. And in the midst of us all having to say no to so many things, let's think of one thing at least that we can say yes to. It might be praying for St Edmund's School with most of the children and staff at home, but with a few staff members present to take care of the children of key workers. It might be making an online donation to a charity that needs our help, or taking time to count our blessings, or to ring someone up to see how they are. If you'd like to read the story of the Annunciation today, you can find it in Luke's Gospel, Chapter 1. And in case you'd like to hear the song I taught to St Edmund's School a year ago today, here it is. Mayenzi wei tando yako, Mayenzi wei tando yako, Mayenzi wei tando yako, Mayenzi wei tando yako, Mayenzi wei tando yako.